Trump has repeatedly threatened to prosecute. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Barack Obama, Liz Cheney, Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, General Mark Milley, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, New York AG Letitia James, and that's just some of the people he has talked about. Do you support him using the Justice Department to go after the people? Yes, I don't know why CNN is so focused on this. If you know you are not guilty of anything, then don't panic. If these people she counted here are not guilty of anything, they should not panic. If you see Libras melting down before the campaign, and I'm still saying the same thing today, it is important to take an exclusive look into what is going on exactly. What I support is stopping. Right, but this is a second what, I term. what I support is stopping this lawfare, stopping this political targeting political cases. We all know the Fonnie Willis case, the Alvin Bragg case, and the Jack Smith's cases were all driven by politics. The American people understood it. That's why that they had this overwhelming win. One of the reasons this overwhelming win for President Trump. So I'm against the retribute. I'm against the Justice Department saying if you're a mom and dad showing up at a school board meeting, we're gonna investigate you. I'm against the FBI putting together a memorandum at the Richmond Field Office which said if you're a pro-life Catholic, you're an extremist. So I just wanna, we, wanna, we want all that to stop. I just wanna so, put a button on this. So what you are saying is that all of the times that President Trump said so many things about people that he promised that he would go after them and prosecute them. You were going to encourage him not to do that? Well, all I know is what he, he, he didn't do. That. I know, but we're he talking about- He talked about lock her up. You know, he's talking about his, uh, his opponent in 2016, uh, Secretary Clinton talked about lock her up. He didn't do that. He didn't go, but the Democrats went after him. I know, him, but I'm talking about Donald Trump's what they did second well. term. I mean, going forward, I, I don't since think, then, I don't he think has said any, many, many times. I don't times. think any of that's going to happen because we're the party who's against political prosecution. We're the party who's against going after your opponents using lawfare. In fact, I think this is one of the issues that the So it was just said. a campaign rhetoric? It wasn't real? Well, I think he's pointing out what's going on. The retribution, actually, Liz Cheney in January 6th went after President Trump, said things that weren't accurate, I think, in their report. Uh, the, the other individuals he's talked about have, have been part of this retribution going after President Trump. Never forget. It started clear back before he was in office. They spied on his campaign in 2016. I know, 2016. but I, I am not so talking for about- eight years, they've been going after President He Trump. won, he won. He sure did, he won he, big. He won, he won big. So my question, and what people wanna know is what he is going to do looking forward. I think forward. he's gonna do- Just for example, two days ago, he this. called for investigation yeah, I think to anyone spreading rumors. I think he's gonna secure the border. I think he's going to get rid of this crazy inflation that's hurting middle class and working class families, hurting our economy. I think he's going to get back to common sense energy policy. I think he's going to focus on protecting the First Amendment. I mean, think about this. Did you ever think you would see Donald Trump, Elon Musk, RFK Jr., and Tulsi Gabbard on the same team? They are on the same team because people yeah. because of the attack on free speech, the attack on the First Amendment. He's going to focus on those things yeah. that the American people elected him to do. Yes, if this same lady on CNN used this energy to press the Biden administration doing this to Trump, it could have been better. They never did that. I never reacted on any video on this platform where they did this. Now, because of Trump coming in, the panic is real. They should face justice if they did something wrong. That is normal. We knew exactly what they were doing. Even now, it has not stopped. Jack Smith, Letitia Jane, and going down to Liz Cheney, what they did with January 6th, they should face justice for what they did. If it finds out that they were not guilty, cool. If it happens that they are guilty, they should be able to face justice. But CNN is changing their language, like this is revenge. That is how they're putting it, which to me, I don't see it that way. Jim Judah here is very clear, though this lady is struggling to corner him to respond to that. But how would Jim Judah know Trump's mindset at this time? I mean, you, the ones who committed crimes, you go after them. We, we, we've had- uh, But I mean, Ms. like who Montgomery, actually- whose daughter was killed. We, we've had uh, Rachel Moran's family who came in and talked. You, 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 How are they going to be found? Is it going to be the military? Well, here, is it going to be local law enforcement? Start. 
1.3 million migrants have already had their asylum case adjudicated, been in front of a judge, and the judge says, you do not qualify under the law. We're, we're the party of the rule of law. Those 1.3 million, they're not, they're not, they're, right, they so don't qualify under the law. My question their case is, how do you get them? They're supposed to be removed. They have a removal order. You start there. You start but, with but the criminals. The you? you start with the people who've already I just, been. I want to, I want to understand, so people say, like, let's say, one of these people is living in their apartment complex. Is the military going to come in? Is it the local law enforcement? How is it actually physically going to work? The, the Trump administration, the, the Department of Homeland Security, will work with local law enforcement and will we'll, we'll, we'll focus on the people who 1.3 million have already been in front of a judge and said, no, you're not entitled to stay here. You have to be removed. There's an order there, a court of law. They've had their due process. They've had their the, the, the whole process play okay, out. So what, let's move on beyond that population, non-criminals. Uh, people who are in the country who are not um, legal citizens, those who have not committed crimes. The, we're, we're starting with the criminal element I know, but after of 1.3. That. Well, we'll start there and, 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 and then go from that point. Uh, but again, this was clear in the election. This was one of the top issues. President Trump had the greatest political comeback in history, won 30 states, won all seven swing states, won the popular vote, won an electoral college landslide. This was one of the big issues. He's not, told the I'm, American I'm, people he's going to do not, it. I'm this not is disagreeing how, with that. I'm I asking believe, how it's going to work. This is how I believe it'll start. And remember, that, that they told him in his first term, oh, he couldn't do certain things. He got them done. I'm convinced he'll get it done. But I also am convinced he's going to start with the criminal element and the 1.3 million. And then who've already been in front of a judge, is, and the judge says you have to be removed. Ultimately, will it be 15 to 20 million, as he promised on the campaign trail? We'll, we, we will see. If left to me, a Republican should never appear on CNN. Yes, the way they treat Republicans totally different from Democrats. You will never see a Democrat being pressed like this. If a question is subject to a Democrat, they will allow them to speak till the end before they ask another question. But with these ladies, with Republicans, they will press you. They will not even allow you to speak. They will struggle to cut you off have said this over and over. It should not be happening this way. If it's a Republican, sometimes they will start a question by already telling the solution, by maybe insulting you or the other way around. Crazy. But I'm glad that Jim Jordan was able to resist her to this level. Now going back to this issue of illegal immigration, there is something that I've seen a lot of people have abused it to a level that is beyond control. And if care is not taken, the situation might get worse. But I'm glad that Trump is back to resolve that. Democrat did their worst, and a lot of people saw that reason. They choose Trump. There's this sense right, that whiteness right, is under threat, the demographic shifts, the country isn't, all of these racially ambiguous children on Cheerios commercials are confusing the hell out of me. Harry, right? a lot of people voted because their life's too damn expensive, and it, and it was here, and it they was They voted for, you're telling me, Stephanie, that all of these people who believe that their lives are, that bread is too high and eggs are too high, that they voted for a convicted felon. A guy who said we can grab the pee. I think that a lot they of They voted for I, this listen, guy. I'm not defending it, but I think there are tons of people that don't pay attention to, and I'm not defending it, don't pay attention to politics at all. But we, oh. while we live in the most prosperous country in the world, people are saying, life's not fair, I'm not doing well, my son's still living in the basement, I can't seem to get a job, I don't like the status quo, I'm voting for something else, and he I person. love you to I life, love you. Oh. but I do not believe that. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe that. And the reason I think you believe it is because you don't want to believe that that's what's really motivating them. It's always the case. We, people don't want to believe what the country actually is. According to Don Lemon, he is enjoying, like, this man is speaking sense. <laughs> You know, when I see people cry like this every day because of Trump victory, it makes me happy. For about five days now, I'm extremely happy. You know, I've been laughing all through when I react to some of these videos because they are extremely funny, especially the murders. 
If you voted for Donald Trump, you're racist, you're a fascist, you're a Nazi, you hate America, you hate women. I think that she should keep calling Donald Trump a fascist. And I think that Americans need to keep looking at the red. I want to elect somebody who's talking about mass deportation. I don't know. Don't y'all find it strange that now that he's won, they're not calling him a threat to democracy. They're not calling him a fascist. I mean, damn, on they're Monday. Not, they're not calling him anything. Um, they can't. Um, what, what do you make of the, the, the demographics here? I mean, Trump got one out of every three voters of color. No. Yeah. One out of three. 33%. No. Really? Yeah. His name calling here and uh, Kamala Harris should be responsible. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to Kamala Harris. I'm like, I bet there's a person in there. I bet I can get to that person. Yeah. I wanted to find that person. I don't want to hear all the speeches. I don't want to hear. I was raised middle class. I don't want to hear any of that shit. She's a roller skater. You know that? No, I would love to find that out. Yeah. I would love. And they want to know if I edit. I'm like, there's not going to be any editing. There's no editing. They are tired of Barack Obama showing up saying the same thing. That you saying three months wasn't long enough? <laughs> it, was, I mean, I, I, it, was, it was too long. I mean, it wasn't anybody. And I do not think she is the perfect candidate. I agree. It is crazy. But you think. If you want to. against Trump. I don't care if they write that. So, with that, I'm gonna shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. Elected name, he's such an absolute, absolute prick. I can't stand him. Hey there. How are you doing? If you watch this show regularly, I'm guessing you're not doing great. Yeah, me neither. Let's be honest, it was a terrible night last night. Is, what will the rest of us be doing on day one? Right, now's the time to stand in solidarity with our friends, with our neighbors. Well, <laughs> Hey there in Chicago, Mel here. The voice crying out from the...